Hi, and welcome to Catrin Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today I have a comic review for you guys. So, um, scrolling through Midtown, ordering my comics last for last week, and um, I noticed there's this brand new book out, and it's a chick who has given up her entire world in order to fight monsters. Um, yes, I had to order that, so <laughs> let's dive on into the story, shall we? Alright, when we first meet Kate, we find out that, unfortunately, she just went through a divorce, so yikes, and she starts off by telling us that she's not dead, she's far from it, and that everything that she's been through and everything that's happened, she's decided that She's going back to the original plan. She's gonna kill monsters. So, what does someone do when they decide to go off on their own and start start a job hunting and killing monsters? Well, of course, they're gonna move to Los Angeles, because that's where a lot of monsters live, apparently. According to this comic, that's where they all live. So, <laughs> what does someone do when they just move to L.A.? Well, they look up a random friend they haven't talked to in over six years, because uh, that's what Kate does. And we actually meet her uh, her old best friend, which I'm kind of obsessed with her daughter. So she starts off, she is arguing with her six-year-old <laughs> on what she's going to wear when she goes to school. And this little girl is dressed up in a Wonder Woman outfit and is refusing to change. And she has to barter with this child stating that Wonder Woman would change her, her outfit if she had to be under disguise for a certain mission, if she had to be all stealthy. So um, the child relents and she goes to change, right? And that's when Kate shows up on her doorstep. And uh, Vera, a.k.a. the mother in this aspect and Kate's best friend, hasn't spoken to her in over five years. So this is a little odd that she just shows up and makes herself at home. But, you know, why not, right? Totally acceptable. And then her daughter shows back up and dressed totally normal with the exception of a fairy wand a tiara and a tutu. This child is basically my spirit animal. It's amazing. And ultimately, she makes a deal with her. If she loses the tutu and the tiara, she's good. So the two fists bump it out and she's off to school, right? Well, that's when Kate follows them to the school bus stop in order to tell her exactly what's going on. And, you know, they share their own stories as far as being a mom or being divorced or even a widower. And that's when we find out that it's been over six months since the divorce and Kate really hasn't been able to live her life. And that's why she's decided that she needed to leave her job, leave her apartment and drive west in the old uh, conventional method and uh, start hunting monsters. Because, you know, makes total sense, right? Mm -hmm. Hunting monsters. And, um, you know, it's, it's just going to be a couple weeks, right? She'll barely notice that uh, Kate's even there. Yeah. Vera, Vera's going to, um, she's really going to regret that decision to let Kate stay later on, just saying. So, fast forward months later, we actually see Kate in the throes of a fight against this monster and she's actually become quite famous throughout the area we get to see there's an entire crowd that's cheering her on and she's really earned the title of calamity and of course you know news reporter discussing what exactly she's going to be doing she's made quite a name for herself in the last six months fighting monsters and that's when we find out that she she's got she's got some competition as far as being the best monster hunter or huntress in this uh, this certain circumstance, and that's in the name of Javelin. So 
they might be squaring down to see who is the monster queen. So back in Vera's house, we find out that Calamity's kind of made herself at home. If you can see all of this mess, there's battle axes, skulls, blood, you name it. A, a monster's head in her freezer. It's all good, right? But you know what's not good? Vera's little girl running around with a giant monster tooth. Totally not acceptable. And the fact that her little girl wants to be just like Kate, because Kate does whatever she wants, and she's able to fight monsters, and Kate's famous. And that's when she has to tell her daughter, well, Kate's not exactly a role model. And uh, that's when Kate kicks the door open and is dragging in yet another monster, and not even the one that she was fighting on the news just a few minutes ago. No, this one's different. And it's all good, because... Kate's got plans. She's going to go after these seven mythical monsters. The seven fabled beasts of yore, as they're called. And Vera's just trying to have a conversation about how Kate needs to move out. It's been six months. She has kind of taken over the place. Her daughter's running around with the uh, monster parts. You know, this is... Uh, Kind of unacceptable. So we find out a little bit more about these fabled beasts and the fact that uh, they've been around for thousands of years. But uh, Calamity Kate, she's going to be the one to take them down. Oh, and um, she's got to go skin this. And it's going to be pretty messy. So, you know, Vera probably should get some antibacterial. Maybe air the house out for a few days. It's going to be a little gross. So the next day in Encino, we actually see her going through and clearing out a nest of goblins. And uh, when she actually gets to the central point of it, we find out that somebody's already beat her to it. And that somebody is Javelin. And she remarks that she's the best goddamn monster hunter in the world. Yeah, in the world. So the next issue, we are going to see a bit more into the world of Calamity Kate, why she ended up in the situation that she's currently in, and we're going to see a bit more of her rivalry with Javelin. So really excited about that. Not going to lie, I did love the art throughout. Uh, this is actually one of the variants for it. And um, I mean, she hunts monsters. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> but definitely a fun read and definitely something that was pretty quick for me to get through so please do give me a like if you like this this video please do comment below and tell me whether or not you picked up calamity kate and whether or not you're excited about the second issue like i am also uh calamity kate kind of awesome but uh please do subscribe for more comic book content or check out any of the older videos i have up for offer here on cat run figures and until next time i'm your host caitlin bye